I made an amphibious dragster, and today we're gonna see if it works well enough to swim all the way across this pond. We'll also see how awesome it does in on-road conditions. I'm a huge fan of the show Top Gear, and this build was inspired heavily by their amphibious car episodes, which are some of my absolute favorites, but I think we can do it even better by having a car that performs awesome on-road and can still cross large bodies of water, in scale terms, of course. And that means we have a lot of testing to do today. We'll be starting with a Traxxas Raptor is the donor car. This is actually the same car I used in my autonomous food delivery service video. except I completely tore it apart and designed an all new mid-motor chassis, which is obviously designed to replicate a dragster more so than a truck. I've also designed the option to add in a foam base, which is obviously so it floats when we're trying to cross the water. And because I think the hardest part of this build is gonna be driving in the water, we're gonna go ahead and start out in the pool first, so let's go see what we can get with where we are now. And the first thing that I noticed is that this thing throws a lot more water than I expected when launching from a standstill. It almost pulls a wheelie, but it's more the back end sinking down than it is lifting the front end up. And speed is really hard to come by because it's really draggy and it just wants to sink the back end. And it's very unstable because of this, as well as the imbalances that occur when the wheels fill with water and they start to get off balance. This is a locked rear differential, so both wheels are spinning at the exact same speed. But you can see in some cases, one of the wheels would just vibrate really violently. And that really contributes to helping it flip itself over. And on this first test, the car doesn't turn at all because of these tiny useless dragster front wheels. So for the floating configuration of this, I'm gonna change to foam aero dish wheels and I'm gonna put this big obnoxious foam ring on the outside of that as well in hopes that I can get enough surface area to really steer the car. But before we brave the elements and try and cross the pond, let's test Test this thing on land and see how well it does. So far it is pretty stable, but it's a really long chassis and it's really low to the ground, so it drags in the grass and slows things down quite a bit. And also, the front of the chassis is really low, so it snags on tiny little bumps in the parking lot and really makes it handle poorly. And this is also resolved by putting the foam aero dish wheels on the front, but we'll leave the flotation rings off for now and get back out there. The increased ground clearance definitely helps it perform a lot better and the larger front wheels improve handling quite a bit. And this money shot took me way too many tries to film. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me. And now for the moment we've been waiting for, testing on the open water. And the first thing that I had to prove is actually driving from land into the water so that it is technically an amphibious car. 
and this was mostly a pass. It needed a little encouragement, but it could drive until it high centered. And while on the water, my issues with speed continued because obviously this thing just wants to sink the back end whenever you give it too much throttle. But I was able to turn with the big stupid foam rings on the front tires. So now we do have some control, which means it's time to hand the controls over to my son so that I can pilot the chase boat and hope to get some cool footage. And despite being really slow, it was actually a lot easier to cross the pond than we expected. So we had a little bit of fun with the boats and then decided to get out of the heat. This design is already a success in my eyes because we successfully crossed the pond and it performs awesome out of the water. But there are some things I want to improve. First, I think it would be awesome to just straight up add like a jet motor onto the back of this that I just turn on when it's in the water. Very similar to the amphibious car that Clarkson broke the amphibious car speed record in. I would also like to reduce the drag on this design. Now I was quite limited because I needed to have enough foam to actually keep this thing floating while it sits still and that requires me to displace as much water weight as the whole weight of the car. So if my car weighs six pounds, I have to displace six pounds of water to keep it afloat. And that put a lot of the surface area in frontal area underneath the water, which made it really tough to get any sort of speed. If we look into this design a little more, you can see that I pretty much reused the entirety of the rear end of a Traxxas Slash. All I did was design some new 3D printed mounts so that I could flip some stuff around, make it mid-motor, and then mount it into whatever chassis design I want. And I did pretty much the same thing on the front where you can see I'm reusing the servo as well as the front control arms and all of that. So this allows me to create a modular design that I can make tons of different car styles with. And I hope to use this in the future on some of my other random builds that may look totally different than this. And another thing that I'm curious about, so these videos take a several weeks, if not over a month to design the car, build it, test it, film it, and edit the video, which means there's big gaps between the videos. And so I've been trying to give either posts or shorts that show what I'm working on. I'm really curious, what do you guys think? Do you like seeing a little behind the scenes stuff or sometimes just highlights of what's coming or what's been done in the past? Or do you prefer just no posts or shorts at all? Do you have any preference? Please let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out there as well. Thanks for watching and I hope to be back soon.